Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Dairy Magazine, reporting to you here today with Bob Hudmacher from the UC Cooperative Extension, who addressed feed growers today on the benefits of sorghum uh, relative to irrigation compared to, uh, compared to corn. As, of course, sorghum silage is definitely a more drought tolerant crop, but it still needs to be irrigated. So here's Bob to give some advice and tips on dealing with sorghum silage. A lot of the work that we're doing in, in sorghum, uh, evaluating irrigation management is focused both on grain types as well as forage types of sorghum. Uh, both of them can have a fit in, in different types of production for either feed or biofuel crops. Uh, a lot of the work that we've done on the forage sorghum types is something where we can make some comparisons with what might be typical for corn uh, grown for feed. Uh, typically in, in sorghum, uh, our, our time period that we have in mind for not stressing the plants is during the first 30 to 40 days when you're trying to basically kind of get a decent population of plants started and you want a good root system developed. And part of the reason to do that is to, that one of the reasons why sorghum might be a good fit for feed production in a place like California under irrigation is that if you can establish a really good root system and get the plant off to a decent start, then you can actually cut back on some of the later irrigations if you're in a water short uh, supply shortage or if uh, water is too expensive to fully irrigate the crop. And that's kind of in contrast to corn where you really, most people irrigate it uh, to keep it relatively non-stressed. They fertilize it uh, at a level to achieve extremely high yields. Uh, you can do something similar in sorghum, but I think one of the advantages with sorghum is that you can also cut back on irrigations, particularly uh, in what typically would be the post-flowering period or in the photoperiod sensitive types that don't flower in the sort of the second half of the production season. You can cut back on irrigation water. You won't get quite as high a yield, but you can still achieve some probably economically acceptable yields, and it gives you a, a place in all of your diversified cropping. It gives you some place where you can cut back on water when you have to. Probably at less damaging levels than what if you did something similar with corn. Thank you, Bob. Learn more about growing feed for the dairy industry by reading California Dairy Magazine, which, if you hadn't heard, it's gone online exclusively. So visit CaliforniaDairyMagazine.com today to read your monthly issue of California Dairy Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.